Hello everybody and welcome back for another saxophone tutorial from Nottingham Music Excellence. So I'm going to play Boston Blues for Grade 2 ABRSM. Hope you enjoy the video. Here we go. Okay, so you've heard the music, let's say a few words about the piece of music and what you need to bring out in this to make it sound really awesome. So you'll notice as you look into the music, all the, the groups of quavers you'll see groups of three quavers instead of groups of two quavers and that's because the music is grouped into dotted crotchet beats, not crotchet beats anymore. So this is really useful to understand. And one thing that I like to do with my pupils when learning the early stages of compound time music is to practice the piece in quavers and also dotted crotchets as well, just so you get the feeling for both. So in this case for the Boston Blues, I would practice it with a metronome at a fairly slow speed, somewhere between 56 and 60, will give you a really good starting point for learning to play this piece really accurately. So as you're playing the music through, make sure you're aware of all the underlying quavers that are perhaps in the background of the music or in the background of your thinking and try to have that ticking, ticking along constantly so you can really stay in time accurately. This kind of reminds me a little bit of, of years ago in the earlier days of my teaching that um, I used to play green sleeves with a lot of pupils for grade two, probably with a million pupils actually. And I thought that equally was a really good piece for setting for those early stages of learning compound time. But I think this is, is pretty good too. Um, just perhaps slightly slower this one and you get a bit more of a, a jazzy feel to this one as well with having that blues in there. And you'll notice as well that the dynamics are a little bit lacking in this. Um, there's an MF marked at the beginning and then just one or two little sort of crescendos and diminuendos along the way, but not a lot of dynamic markings. So I think the scope here to add your own sort of dynamic markings in a little bit and add your own points of interest in there. Even within that opening phrase, I think you can have some contrasts there. So I like to play. So treat that as like kind of the question and then to the answer to that would be. And then come back in again. And then answer that again. So you get the idea. So even within those little phrases, you can have contrasts and, and interesting things that you can put in there. And then. And notice you've got a few kind of um, accents and tenuto notes in there as well and a few staccato notes which will just add that extra little bit of interest too. So there on bar seven to eight. So things like that will just tidy it up and make it sound really rhythmically interesting. And for me, the piece reaches a bit of a high point. I like to just put a bit more dynamic in there at around 16, 17, 18, 19, and perhaps just give this a little bit more sound. Okay, so I'm going to play the music through again now with a metronome click track. See if you can play along with me and keep the music really, really accurate. Here we go. 
One, two, one, two. Okay guys, so I think that's a wrap for Boston Blues. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did find it useful, then of course, click that like button, leave me a comment below and let me know how you're getting on with grade two. But that's it for this one. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.